So if you have a computer and you want to land a work from home job, I've got 10 legit remote jobs that you can get hired for right now. And the best part is all of these remote jobs do not require a college degree and most of them do not require previous experience either. And the first one on the list is from one of the biggest companies in the world. And that's going to be an Amazon pharmacy customer care specialist. And this is where you're going to assist customers with their pharmacy related questions, queries, and issues via phone, email, or live chat. And you're basically going to be ensuring excellent service service and timely resolution. And if you didn't know, yes, Amazon does have a pharmacy and they made a really strong run in order to break into the pharmacy space a few years back. And they basically just mail it to the patient's home. And in this position, you can make 37 to $49,000 a year. And a logical position to move into would be a pharmacy technician. They make about 39 to $56,000 a year. And a similar job would be a telehealth customer service representative. They make about 39 to $55,000 a year. So as you can see with this job, there is some career advancement and with the skill set, there are some other jobs that the skill set can apply to. Now, with that being said, there isn't a huge career path to go down. For instance, you'd probably have to switch careers in order to make six figures. But with that being said, this one is still a good way to get your foot in the door, get started working remote. I'm going to give it a seven out of 10 opportunity score. But with that being said, there are other ones on the list that are going to be much, much better. Like the next one, which is a paid media coordinator. And have you ever felt like you being stalked by shoes that are following you around online? You go to one website, you see the pair of shoes, and then you go to a completely different website and you see the same exact pair of shoes? Well, it's not your imagination because that's basically what a paid media coordinator does. They manage online ad campaigns and in many cases, they'll manage the campaigns across various different platforms. So for instance, if you almost buy a pair of shoes on one website, you put it in the cart, but then you don't end up making the purchase. For instance, maybe this was on Google. Then you visit another website, let's say Facebook, you might see that same pair of shoes pop up again. And that was all done by the paid media coordinator. And they make about 51 to $73,000 a year. Now, this is a relatively easy job to get into, does not require a college degree. In some cases, it may require previous experience. In some cases, it doesn't. And it's relatively easy to get into overall. And there's also other career paths you can go into down the line that pay even better. For instance, digital marketing specialists make about fifty-one dollars to $81,000 a year. Paid media managers make about sixty-eight dollars to $110,000 a year. And media directors make dollars to $176,000 a year. And of course, all of this falls under the umbrella of content marketing. And that's exactly what I do on YouTube. I create content for a living. And I've taught a bunch of other people how to do it as well, including this student who's making $235 a day just from AdSense alone. And by the way, I'll be doing a live training showing you exactly how this student does it. That'll be Tuesday, 9 p.m. Eastern time. Click the link in the description, the pinned comment below to check it out. So yeah, love this position. I think it's a great one. I'm going to give it a nine out of 10 opportunity score. Quick break. So I know you guys want to know where I'm headed and like all the different places I go to because I work remote. And you also want to know how you can work remote as well. And that's something that I share a lot of on Instagram. So definitely follow me. I'll put it down in the description and the pinned comment below. I also answer people's questions via DM if you reach out to me on Instagram. So it's a really good place to get a hold of me. So definitely send me a message on Instagram if you want to work remote and you want help doing that. Uh, link is in the description and the pinned comment below. Now back to your regularly scheduled programming. Next is going to be an e-commerce after sales position. And this is somebody who basically handles returns, exchanges, repairs, and all kinds of different customer issues. And this ensures a seamless shopping experience. This is a really good quote. Customers don't expect you to be perfect, but they do expect you to fix things when they go wrong. And that's what this position is all about. And in this position, you can make about thirty-five to $54,000 a year. Now I know this one sounds like sales, but it is kind of not sales related. But by the way, if you want a sales career, that is going to be popping up here in a moment. And there's actually a free training training that Rin took, for instance, in order to land her sales job. And she was able to actually land it in two weeks. So definitely check that free training. I'll put it down in the description, in the pinned comment below. But some other career paths that are similar to this one would be a customer experience specialist. They make 42 to $61,000 a year or an e-commerce operations manager. They make about 82 to $139,000 a year. And a job that's similar to this one would be a returns processor. They make about 37 to $50,000 a year. So yeah, a lot of good jobs in the career path and the skill set you learn can lead to other jobs that pay well too. So yeah, overall, this one's really good. Good. I'll go ahead and give it an 8.5 out of 10 opportunity score. Next is going to be an animal care coordinator. This is basically where you coordinate animal care duties. You also provide information to callers and you support the overall operations of the animal care program. And it's kind of like being a digital concierge for pets. And did you know that the pet treat industry in the United States alone is a $136 billion industry? So yeah, people really care about their pets. And animal care coordinators
managers make about forty-one to sixty-five thousand dollars a year. And there are other career paths you can go into down the line. Some of them may require additional training, though. For instance, veterinary practice manager they make about fifty-eight to eighty-two thousand dollars a year. Animal welfare program directors make about seventy-four to one hundred thirty-four thousand dollars a year. And yeah, if you're somebody who really loves pets, you really love spending time around animals, but you want to do it remotely, this could be a really good job for you. I'll go ahead and give this one a seven point five out of ten opportunity score. Next is going to be a tax support specialist, and this is basically a position where you troubleshoot tax related issues to ensure seamless financial operations. And this can be both for companies as well as individuals. And believe it or not, you do not need to have an accounting degree or some kind of certification in order to do this. And tax support specialists make about forty two to sixty thousand dollars a year. Now, a lot of the time, this is a bit of a seasonal job. Of course, there are certain times of the year where companies and individuals need more tax support than others around tax season, of course. And so there's going to be more opportunities around that time of the year. So that could be a good thing or a bad thing, depending on what you're looking for. But with that being said, tax support representatives make about 40 to 61,000 a year. Senior tax specialists make about 78 to 142,000 dollars a year. Tax consultants make about 90 to 166,000 dollars a year. And a similar job would be a bookkeeping clerk. They make about 39 to 56,000 dollars a year. But that's also a very easy one to get into. Well, congratulations. You got yourself a job. So yeah, lots of opportunities out there at the entry level, also further along down the career path as well. I'm gonna go ahead and give this one a nine out of 10 opportunity score. Next is going to be a billing support clerk. Now this is a medical career where you basically help with billing. And you can kind of think of this position as the sheriff of billing discrepancies, riding into the wild west of the US healthcare system to enforce order and justice. And billing clerks make about 39 to $54,000 a year. Now this is one of those positions where it does have a few career paths you can go into. For instance, medical billing managers make about $54,000 to $83,000 a year, but it doesn't really get much higher than that. So if you want to make it to the six-figure level, you're probably going to have to make a horizontal move to something else. But there are other similar jobs with a similar skill set that you could go into, such as a patient service representative. They make about thirty-nine dollars to $51,000 a year. So yeah, this one's pretty decent. There's a lot of these healthcare-related careers out there that are pretty decent, easy to get into. They do require training, but usually the company provides the training for you. And they're just really stable overall. Healthcare careers are the most stable types of careers. If you look at the history of recessions, healthcare careers basically almost always do the best in recessions. So yeah, this one I'm going to give an 8 out of 10 opportunity score to. A similar career is a Medicare customer representative. And in this position, you're going to be guiding patients through the overly complicated world of Medicare. So Medicare in the US is needlessly very complicated. And I would know this because I was a pharmacist in the US. And patients a lot of the time need someone to help and guide them through that complicated world. And in this position, you can make about thirty-seven dollars to $58,000 a year, plus you provide a lot of value to your clients or patients. Now, I'm not going to lie, this is a bit of a dead end career path. I mean, you could become like a claim specialist, they make forty-nine dollars to $72,000 a year, but that's about it. So you're not going to make it to six figures most likely with this career path, but it is a good way to get your foot in the door and get started with a healthcare career and get started with a remote career as well. So yeah, I'll go ahead and give this one an eight out of 10 opportunity score. By the way, if you like any of these in this video, or you don't like them, or you think I should have spent more time on one of them or covered one of them that I didn't, go ahead and comment down below. I pay attention to the comments and there's a very good chance I'll include it in a future video. Next is going to be a quality assurance specialist. And in this position, you will analyze customer interactions, identify areas for improvement, and help boost overall customer satisfaction. And a lot of the time, you might be working for a software company, for instance. So there's a piece of software that a bunch of people are using, and you're basically going to try to improve it to make it as ergonomic and as user-friendly as possible. And quality assurance specialists make about fifty to $78,000 a year. Now, some quality assurance specialists know absolutely nothing about coding and some actually do know something about coding and those ones typically make a lot more. But with that being said, there's other careers down that career path you can go into down the line. For instance, customer experience managers make 69 to $111,000 a year. Quality assurance managers make 80 to $140,000 a year. And training managers make 88 to $152,000 a year. There's also some career paths that are relatively similar, have a very similar skill set. For instance, quality monitoring specialists make about 53 to $83,000 a year. So you have a lot of opportunities vertically and horizontally. So yeah, this is a really good one. I like it a lot. I'm going to give it a nine out of 10 opportunity score. Next is going to be a patient transportation coordinator. And yes, there are a lot of these little medical careers out there. And this one is exactly what it sounds like. You basically help coordinate patient transportation. So you help to transport patients to and from healthcare facilities, ensuring timely, safe and efficient transfers. And the non-emergency medical transport industry is actually booming at about $16 billion a year. So yeah, a good amount of opportunity here. And in this position,
position, you can make about forty-seven to sixty-five thousand dollars a year. Doesn't typically require a college degree, previous experience, or any of that type of thing. It's relatively easy to get into, but it is a bit of a dead end career. I mean, there's some career paths you could go into. For instance, emergency medical dispatcher. They make about forty-five to seventy-one thousand dollars a year, and it's a bit of a stretch. But you could potentially become a hospital operations manager. They make about sixty-nine to one hundred eighteen thousand dollars a year. Then a similar job that you could use with that skill set would be a logistics coordinator. They make about fifty-one to seventy-eight thousand dollars a year, and that one would likely have a more robust career path as well. So yeah, this one's pretty good. I'm gonna go ahead and give it an eight out of 10 opportunity score overall. And next is going to be a provider data coordinator. And this is basically where you collect very important data on spreadsheets. And a lot of the time, this is an actual overnight position. So you'll basically be generating reports for the doctors and the nurses, et cetera, to read the next morning. And this needs to be accurate information that's going to help them to take care of patients. So this data needs to be easily accessible by healthcare providers, but at the same time, it needs to be very safe and secure. Healthcare data is a huge deal and healthcare data breaches can be absolutely catastrophic. And so this position, even though it's entry level, relatively easy to get into, et cetera, makes about 46 to $68,000 a year. So it requires a tiny little bit of technical expertise and it requires a little bit of healthcare knowledge as well. And there's a lot of career paths you can go into down the line, such as a network management specialist. They make about 69 to $113,000 a year. A healthcare data analyst, they make about 102 to $173,000 a year. Or a chief compliance officer down the line could make 208 to 388 thousand dollars a year so yeah this one's pretty good a lot of opportunities both within healthcare as well as within technology i'm going to give this one an 8.5 out of 10 opportunity score and by the way if you want to learn about some certifications that do lead to high paying remote jobs i actually made a video on that it went viral lots of people absolutely loved it one of my most popular videos and you can check that out by clicking right here